we've got breaking news at this hour. Rough night, huh? What's this? Must be getting old. The way he always gets you. Maybe it might be time to change that around. Where is it? Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho! And what would you like for Christmas, my boy? I... I want to become stronger! To defeat my enemies and to protect those I love! Ho, ho, ho! Well, a little birdie, or should I say funny, recently told me about a magical, wondrous place that with enough ambition will grant you any skill you desire. And now, what was it called again? Ah, yes! Skillshare! This delightful online learning platform has more classes of high quality tutorials than you could ever imagine. There aren't even any ads! Can't have you breaking your concentration when exploring all these new skills. Ho ho ho! Where's you? You're saying this Skillshare place is where I can finally level up? Ho ho ho! But of course, here's a good example. What about leveling up your knowledge of Photoshop? Then you can digitally edit out all your enemies. I especially recommend this particular one, Fundamentals of Photoshop by Meg Lewis. Now, tell you what, because you've been such a good boy this year, I'll give you an early gift. If you and the first 1,000 people click on the link in the description below, you'll get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. What? What description? What do you mean? I... I don't understand. Now off you go, Sonny. Good luck and Merry Christmas! Ho 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 ho! And what would you like for Christmas, my dear? You know what this is? Ho 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 ho! Oh yeah, mate. Just over there. Oh sweet. Thanks, Anna. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Merry Christmas! And what would you like for Christmas, little girl? I want a pony! Ho, ho, ho! Very well. I got you this leg. It's um, it's not attached to anything, but it uh, otherwise is a perfectly fine and functional leg. Happy Easter! Oh, well, you people seem to have enjoyed my previous two model making videos, so. Uh, I'm gonna do another one. This time though, instead of using ripoff Lego, I'm gonna try to use this broken guardian amiibo as a feature in a Zelda inspired ruiny rocky forest. Uh, might even try to chuck in a waterfall or two, I don't know. At least by now I should kind of have the hang of things a bit more, so <laughs> it'll go smoother than last time. <laughs> that is how it works, right? So after attempting to delve into the model making club, I kind of found they take up a bit of room, so I decided to make a perspex Ooh. case that would allow me to stack them on top of each other, but then also still see them. Hey Dad. Yeah. Uh, can you break this in half? Thank you. How are you gonna do uh, just gonna put my model in it. Uh. 
What? Alright, perfect bit. Oh. So we're going to need a base for this. Okay. Use particle board. Okay. Particle board is? Uh, no. Particle board is palm tree. Smashed up into silver. And we can get a previous degree. Oh. Hey, look at that. Can we get it for Mum for Christmas? I, I I think it's cute, but I wish it wasn't wise. Yeah, the trouble is it's only one sided. Oh, no. Good. No, we won't. What's the length? 45. Uh, How's that? Oh, that's actually perfect. Yeah, you just cleaned it up a bit. Fun fact, in the end this whole step was rather pointless, for I've ended up not keeping any of them, instead doing the proper thing and releasing them back into the wild. So, with some black matte spray paint, I went over the outer edges of the base, covering the grooves and then set about attempting to uh, cut up bits of foam sheet and roughly forming the shape of the land. I don't understand why it was so bloody hard to cut and in the end I kind of gave up and instead covered the entire thing in pipe filler in hopes of making it look more natural. Uh, Newsflash, it uh, didn't, so I then bought some of these plaster rock moulds and after making and breaking too many I just kind of slapped them on wherever I felt like. Once I had tasted the sweetness of success, I also bought some models for the ruins. Found some Egyptian ones from the same site I bought from when I did my medieval theme and thought they'd be good enough to pass as Zeldery. Then using modelling paste like cement, I started to construct little areas of the ruins on pretty much every side of the model, so it was interesting when viewed at different angles. Halfway through my model, I realised I hated it, so proceeded to attempt to hollow out an archway to make the terrain more interesting. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Appeased for now, I moved on to carefully placing and filling in all the gaps between the foam and the clay with more modelling paste. After running out of that, I used some air dry clay for the larger areas and also added a bit more ruiny detail. It was time to trigger the amoeba collectors as I covered the broken guardian in clay and then spray painted him along with the rest of the model. Then with acrylic paint I started working on the rocks and the ground and then sadly because uh, my cat's collection is still depleted went on another perilous journey in an attempt to locate more of the elusive sand, rocks and sticks. With the mission a resounding success, I then dumped them mostly in the riverbed areas as well as some greenery I mixed together to create a bit more interest before pouring the resin. So I maybe thought I could get away with using the leftover resin from the last Japanese themed model. Uh, fun fact, resin actually has an expiry date and so it had gotten all cloudy and solid at the bottom. Did I still use it? Yes. Did it then come out cloudy and wouldn't completely set? Also yes. But anyways, one thing I was determined not to repeat was the amount of bubbles that had formed last time I poured the resin, so I went about finding a solution. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Technique of the Week. Today we're going to be showing you a way to pop air bubbles um, when you're pouring and doing 100% solid epoxy. Heat gun's probably a preferred way. And I'll be completely honest with you today, I couldn't find mine. But anyhow, so all I'm gonna do is just turn this on and get a nice even flame going. Not too, not too much, but just, just about like that. I'm just gonna go across 
the whole thing like this, what that's gonna do is pop all these bubbles. equivalent of graham crackers and discovering what must be the largest marshmallows in existence, we made some s'mores. Alright, s'mores. So Marshmallow meat. Do I have to use a ludicrously large American one? It's the s'mores. So you do that first and then you sandwich it between the, the chocolate and the biscuit? Well, what do, what do the instructions I say? I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure the instructions the don't involve an oxy torch. All right. All Are you right. ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's on fire, bro. All right. All right. All right. I put and it then, on the thing. And then you do this. Right. Wait. Where's the chocolate? Ah! Ah! No. Oh. Hey, bro. Do you think it's ready yet? It doesn't look very appealing. It's good, yeah. Yeah. We we succeeded. Is it success? Um. Sure. While it turned out to be a vital step in the construction of this model, in our sugar induced craze we maybe ended up using all the gas roasting the marshmallows instead of popping uh, resin bubbles. But I did make some little fishies again which is kind of fun. While the resin was still setting I stuck in some water reeds and started to make the waterfall by creating thin strips of silicon. Uh, once set, I added some lily pads with air dry clay, which I then painted for some variants and even added little duckweeds. 
I tried adding static grass for the first time using a static grass applicator I bought online. They usually go for like 100 to 200 bucks, so I thought I was being clever buying one for 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, it didn't bloody work for one and electrocuted me twice. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was just using it wrong, but I don't like it. Lastly, I touched up the Guardian a bit and added some more foliage and trees that I uh, potentially lost the footage for and <laughs> it was showtime. So uh, I hope you enjoy.